Hi, in today's video training of HTML, we will be looking at HTML Geolocation API. The HTML Geolocation API is used to locate a user's position. The HTML Geolocation API is used to get the geographical position of a user since this since this can compromise privacy the position is not available unless the user approves it note that geolocation is most accurate for devices with gps like smartphones let's look at a simple example of using html geolocation the get current position method is used to return the user's position so the example below returns the latitude and longitude of the user's position. Let's look at this example and first of all create a project file for this project. So we call it HTML geo location API dot HTML. Okay and for this we write the script sorry not here it's here script and close the script tag start by variable x equals get sorry document dot get element by id we say demo okay now we are going to write a function get location okay. we are going to use a navigator object of the browser object model so it's navigator dot geo location navigator dot geolocation okay navigator dot geolocation dot get current position and we say show position else we say x inner html equals geo location is not supported by this browser okay and then we have the show position function and say x inner html latitude colon plus position dot chords dot latitude plus br this is for line break so we display the longitude in next line longitude position dot chords dot longitude and okay that's it here we have to reduce a element let's say paragraph and set set id to demo okay because we are referring to this id element of dom in our script that is demo okay we have the script so let's try if it works in google chrome html geolocation a dot html okay okay let's look at the code i have refactored the code a bit 
I have added a h1 tag and set the ID to demo here and this will be above the script tag and then we have the get location tag uh, function JavaScript and then we have the show position function this is a callback function that is being passed to the get position function the get current position function and this function is receiving position as an argument and this position object basically have coordinates of latitude and coordinates of longitude and after this you have to call this function get location to execute it and get the location of your machine so let's try this in browser allow the browser to know your location and you see we have the latitude and we have the longitude position of oh. your computer so that's how the HTML geo location get current position work you can also download this code from the github repository of HTML which is also mentioned in the description of this video training let's look at the next step so what we did is we run the get current position function and first of all we checked if the geolocation is available in your browser or not if not we will say geolocation is not supported by this browser otherwise we call the get current position function and pass in the show position function by passing the position object for displaying the results to the user okay so the second parameter of the get current position method is used to handle errors it specifies a function to run if it fails to get the user's location so we can also have a function specific for handling errors like show error so if the user denied the request for geolocation we can say the permission is denied if location information is unavailable we can say use location is unavailable if there's a timeout we can say the request to get user location timed out and we can also catch an error that is unknown Okay, displaying the result in a map to display the result in a map you need access to a map service like Google Maps in the example below the return latitude and longitude is used to show the location in a Google map using a static image let's look at this example so basically what we are going to do is we are going to refactor our show position function and we are going to add a static image using the Google Maps API and we can say image URL equals maps.google APIs static image and we can say we can show that image in the static field okay we are going to refactor our show position function and we are going to open Google Maps with the latitude and longitude returned by the navigator object of the geolocation API. So this will open the Google Maps with our location and let's see how does it works. Now the location. You see it has returned my area which is Shadman and this is is done by the latitude and longitude which was returned by the geolocation API and I didn't use the static Google API images because it required API key and some of us or this is a bit hassle to get the API key and there's also paid version so I use the simple Google Maps to locate our location. 
Geolocation is very useful for location specific information like up to date local information showing points of interest near the user, turn by and turn navigation GPS. To get current position method, return data. It returns an object on success, the latitude, longitude and accuracy properties are always returned. The other properties are returned if available. Latitude, longitude, accuracy, altitude, attitude, accuracy, heading, speed, timestamp. So what we can do is we can uh, console dot log the position object to see all the coordinates it's returning. So we have the console open. Let's refresh the page and you see we have the geolocation coordinates and we have all the properties latitude longitude altitude accuracy your accuracy heading speed and timestamp okay there are some other interesting methods related to geolocation object the geolocation object also has other interesting method like watch position it returns the current position of the user and continues to return updated position as the user moves like the GPS in a car. Then there is a function called clear watch which stops the watch position method. The example below shows the watch position method. You need an accurate GPS device to test this like a smartphone. So we have the script here. We are just replacing the show position get current position with watch position. So this is the same code, but this time I replaced get current position with watch position. So let's see what does this function do. Okay. You see it's continuously getting my current location and sending the response to the browser. So that's what the watch position function does it continuously updates the browser with the user's location this is very helpful in application like uh, car hailing service or you know food delivery services where you are you have ordered some food or a grocery item and you want to know the uh, position of the delivery person who is delivering the goods to your home or office and it is very useful in many other applications so I hope you have liked this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you next time with a new topic in HTML till then bye